My name is Alon and welcome to the second Iron Man episode back from my break and I have been AFK fishing for basically the last day and I'm almost at 500,000 experience and I'm actually going to stop right here because I think I have enough food now to do whatever PVMing I really want to do and uh, I got pretty much halfway to 95 fishing a bit more than that which is very nice. But uh, I now have 1.5k sailfish that I can't use just yet. I need 99 cooking for that. But uh, I have 147k fish, almost 400 more blue blubbers, which I already have 550 of. So basically 1k, 50 more raw mantas, 319 raw rock tails, which is the big one. And I'm definitely going to use this for a Raxor. As I said in the end of my last video, I do want to max this account, meaning archaeology is one of the skills I have to train because it's a new skill and you do need it obviously for maxing and I have to learn that, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm not going to do the whole video on archaeology, I'm just going to do small portions of it. Probably not going to show a ton of it because it doesn't seem super interesting, maybe that will be... Uh, maybe I will have another opinion on it whenever I get started with it. But uh, anyways, it is something that I will be doing at least in the background. Pretty much just did the tutorial and some more in Al Karid, which is like the first place you get to. And I got to 18 archaeology and I just want to show that I unlock this one. Of course, everyone gets this in the beginning, which is just 500 more HP. So there are actually some really nice unlocks here for PVMing that I would love to get. And 5% uh, damage reduction when your life points are below 50%, 10% damage reduction when they are below 25%, stuff like that can be very good. Also stuff like these, like fishing produce are cooked when caught, of course very handy, like when wood cutting you always burn your uh, cut log and immediately get fire making experience. And there's a bunch of different things that you can get here and I saw some good ones for uh, combat, so that is definitely a uh, motivation to train archaeology. The first PVM portion of this video is going to be some Slayer because there are so many new creatures that I don't know how they work and of course I love doing PVMing so it is a very good thing to start off with. I also have by the way these 60 magic saplings in the bank and I already planted 5 or 6 whatever the maximum amount of trees you can plant. So during the video or the future videos I will just plant them and uh, get some farming experience casually now and then. So currently I have 356 points so I will be able to skip some tasks if I get some really bad ones. These are the ones I have on my block list and I have Abyssal Demons on Prefer because they are just extremely AFK and easy Slayer experience. So let's see what the uh, next task is going to be. Take the Slayer Collection log allows you to keep track of, okay that's some new stuff, so uh, I guess I'll do that. What did I even get? I got uh, Corrupted Creatures. That is new for sure, I've never killed those, so let's see what that's going to be. I must have killed these before I quit the game because I do actually have one of these in my bank already, Key to the Crossing, I just don't remember them. I think you actually use this to kill a boss. I'm not sure which one, but I think the drop rate of this key is like 1 in 400. So it is fairly rare that I got it, I guess, or uh, pretty lucky that I got it, but uh, it's probably a boss that I won't kill for a while anyways. Just completed the task and I uh, actually decided to put the auto loot feature on the chest because the loot was not super important to pick up anyways, it wasn't like beams after beams and that. I got another key though, so that's pretty nice. But uh, let's have a look at what the loot is and I actually kind of enjoy having it as a surprise. So uh, 139,000 coins, that is not too bad. Vital Spark, I have no idea what that is. This is some decent alky balls I can assume. How much does this alk for? 24k. Oh, it's, uh, it says right here, 1.7 mil in total loot. That is actually not bad at all. And I guess these corrupted magic logs is pretty decent fire making experience. I've never used these logs before, but uh, I'm going to assume they are a bit higher tier than normal magic logs or something like that. So pretty nice task. Had to skip one task, but uh, that is a very good task. 64 rune dragons. I think that's the dragons that can actually give you a boot attachment. That would be very interesting to get. It's fairly rare if I remember correctly, but uh, 64 anyways is going to be pretty nice. So during this task, my legs actually got to invention level 12, so I'm going to use one of my equipment siphons that I already had in the bank. And uh, I'm pretty sure it is at level 12 that you should siphon them for uh, 540,000 invention experience and I'm currently 82 so that should be 83 or 84 let's see what level I get to 83 and 400,000 to 84 so uh, I don't know if there's any uh, significant un unlocks on this level but uh, 
keeping up on that 99 invention grind. So in RuneScape 3 you can actually get elites as well. Look at this. This is an elite rune dragon. They have this white circle around them. They are way tougher than normal ones as in OSRS as well. So after this one I am going to kill this and let's see what we get. This guy hits like a truck. I just got hit for 3.4k in the end there. Dragon plate legs 178k drop. Very nice alkyl balls. Meanwhile, during Slayer, I actually ran out of restores. I mean, I do have like 20 restores maybe left in the bank, but uh, I want to have a bit more than that. So I actually looked up, if I don't die now, what creature actually drops both maybe Snape Grass for prayer potions and red spider eggs. And these are the ones, Devil Snares. And uh, they drop a decent amount of uh, snape grass and red spider eggs. I do have a lot of Raynars and snapdragons in the bank, so the herbs is not a problem. I just need the secondary ingredients. So killing some of these shouldn't be too bad and I will be able to make a lot of potions. Oh my god, I didn't even know that. I didn't look at the drop table close enough, but they also drop snapdragons. They drop seven at a time. That's insane. Like seven snapdragons in one drop. That is so good. I mean, you can just kill these and get like infinite prayer restores pretty much. That's actually insane. Also, by the way, I forgot to uh, remove my Slayer helmet from my last Slayer task to kill these off task. Don't say anything. Actually, you know what? I got a pretty mediocre Slayer task and I made, by the way, I have now 33 restores and I actually still have some Snape Cross that I got from that. But um, I actually looked at Araxor and the best path combo is actually up right now. Spider minions is blocked and that is the top one and I already have the top piece. So I should be doing some easy Araxor now. So I'm just going to do some speed kills and show you guys the loot. First Araxor kill of the video is going to be herbs. Kill number two for uh, some seeds. Third kill. Overloads, nice. I should be able to squeeze in two or three more kills in this aura, probably three, so let's see what the fourth loot's going to be. Yeah, that's not great. Can do two more after this one. You logs. I bet 100% enraged right now, so the next skill is going to be like 125 or something like that. I do have a pheromone in the bank which just resets the enrage, but I don't think it's actually worth using that right now. If I want to push for like 20 kills in one day or something sometime, I might do that, but... Uh, I'll keep it for now. Second to last kill coming in. Oh, another pheromone. Then I might reconsider. I might actually do another aura because I have two of them now. I guess you guys will see. Sorry for being a bit back and forth, but I think this is going to be my last kill. Uh, I don't really want to do the boss without a reckless aura, so I will just come back tomorrow and do some more Arax or whenever that is in the video you will see, but the last loot is... A pile of cash. So meanwhile waiting for Araxor tomorrow, I'm going to AFK some harp just because I want to get to 99 crafting. I'm already pretty close, I'm 95 so 4 more levels to go. Already AFK 80,000 crafting experience, can do a small amount now and then and I will soon get 99 crafting. Ended up doing a lot of AFK crafting, 444,000 experience, getting pretty close to 96 crafting so Whenever I have any time to AFK, that is going to be a nice activity to do. Also got 5.3k harmonic dust. This time around, I won't show every loot, so if I get something cool, that is what I'm going to show. First loot, at least, magic seeds. Oh, a drop already. Pheromone, sweet. Two onyxes, very, very nice. Seven mil drop right there. Another pheromone, that's four now, so I can reset the enrage on Araxi pretty much as much as I want at this point. Alright, so that is the first aura used, the reckless aura, one hour of Araxi, and the last loot is going to be some, oh, a Triskelion fragment, that's pretty nice actually, uh, but that is eight kills in one hour, I'm pretty happy with that actually, eight kills in one aura is very nice, but uh, I am actually going to look into... If I can put some perk on my ascension crossbow, augment it and all that. And also I can siphon my legs for some invention experience. But then I'm going to reset the enrage on the boss and I'm going to use my sharpshooter aura for another hour. So to be honest, I know that precise 2 or in general precise and equilibrium is like the perfect combo that you want on your weapon. At least that's what Google says and what I've seen from other YouTubers. So I'm just going to save this, even though it's a very, very low one, precise 2 and equilibrium 1. But uh, I think it should be better than having nothing, right? And I don't really have a lot of good components right now to actually get better ones. So I'm just going to augment the weapon here 
And we're going to have an augmented ascension crossbow and then I can just use the weapon gizmo on this and I'm going to have the perks on the weapon. So that is very nice and by the way if you're wondering what my current charge is I still have 20 hours so no worries right there and I'm going to actually go to my bank real quick here and uh, I'm going to get some nice invention experience from siphoning the legs that are currently level 12. So 621,000 experience should be 84 and uh, next level is in 700,000 experience. So still keeping on with that 99 invention grind. Something I actually forgot, I can also do this. I can get even more drain reduction right now and also get like 90,000 invention experience. Yeah, 90,000 free invention experience and let's see if there's a difference now. Still 20 hours, but I guess I got a few more minutes, so that is nice. First farming level, coming back to the game. This is going to be 86 farming, and it's only 13,000 farming experience for Magic Tree. I actually expected it to be more, but I guess I have 60 of them in the bank, so I'm going to get a decent amount of experience if I uh, farm all of these. Oh, two more Onyxes, very nice. This will have to be the last kill of the video. I am currently at, I think, 277 KC, so let's see what the last loot is going to be. No leg piece in this video, unfortunately. Something I completely forgot about, but that is extremely useful, is that every month you can do the troll invasion and you get a huge reward book in experience, any skill you want. And I'm going to be putting this in herb lore pretty much every single time until I'm 99, or even maybe uh, past that, because there are even better potions now in the game that you can get 120. But let's see how much experience I get. 71,000 herb lore experience every single month for pretty much 10 minutes of work or even less than that. But with that, I'm going to end the video because I'm going to do a bunch of crafting AFK. So probably for one or two days, I'm going to AFK crafting. I really want to get quite a lot of experience to work towards that 99 as I do want to max and getting a 99 out of the way as soon as possible obviously helps. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Quite a lot of Arax were in this one. And I feel like I always say I want to go for max and then I end up doing a lot of PVMing anyways. But that's kind of just how I do it. But uh, I really do want to max, so maybe the next video is going to be a bit more skilling. But hopefully it will be entertaining regardless. Have a good one, guys. Take care.